Alfred Penworth used to say that some people just want to watch the world burn. <laughs> Hi, I am Marius Harlamus, and this is Long Story Short. Of course, Alfred apparently never made it to Cyprus during summertime where temper when temperatures routinely hit 40 degrees Celsius, making us all feel as if we've booked a ticket to hell early. Had he been here, around here during summertime, he would have realized that the world is actually already on fire. But this episode isn't about cli climate change. There's a very nice, spacious balcony in the building where I'm walking in. It's also quite embrasures and cool for the most part of the day, even during summertime, making it an excellent relaxation spot. So one day, while standing there, trying to clear my mind a bit, I turned to the building's health and safety officer and say, you know, this place is an excellent relaxation spot. You should add some chairs and perhaps even sub-rent it as a cafeteria and allow people to relax here. It could make you some money, all the while keeping people happy. Yes, but this is also our building's emergency exit, she tells me. To which another person standing nearby and overhearing our conversation added, you know, Marius is right. This is indeed an excellent relaxation spot. And to be perfectly fair, if anyone tripped over a chair or a table in this huge space, all the while trying to get away from a fire, perhaps they deserve to, go to get burned. <laughs> Some people just want to watch the world burn. But then again, the world would be a much better place if some people got burned. People like those who drive on the passing lane of the road at a snail's pace. And even more so, those who use their mobile device in any way, shape or form, including Bluetooth, while driving there. Use of your mobile device while driving makes you dangerous, period. It makes you drive slower. It makes you unable to check your rear view mirrors to see cars lining up behind you. It makes you unable to spot early enough pedestrians waiting at the side of the road to cross at designated spots, thus not allowing you to brake on, to brake on time. Defensive driving isn't about driving slowly. Defensive driving is about driving all the while being aware of your surroundings. People who are corrupt. You do not pay your taxes. You ask merchants to sell you something without charging VAT and issuing a receipt. You are a good public property. You do not pay your suppliers on time, thinking that this makes you a good businessman. Guess what? All these are forms of corruption in one way or another. Corruption corrupts. Corruption is the bane of our society. If you got burned, the world would be a much better place without you. You fail to use common sense and adhere to the unwritten rules of good neighborhood? Frankly, the world could do without you. There's a guy around here, for instance, who plays music at max all day long. Now, truth be told, he doesn't do so during the times of day when most people are asleep, probably because he too is asleep. But he acts like a mindless zombie at pretty much every other time of day. Just because you can do something doesn't mean you should. Use common sense. You're supposed to be a grown-up. And finally, the world would be a much better place if people who are cold in the modern office from the air conditioner during summertime brought an extra layer or two with them. I got news for you. Someone who's hot during summertime and wears only one layer cannot remove it. That is, unless you enjoy working in a place where people are working half naked. If you're cold from the air conditioner, it is your responsibility to bring additional layers with you. If you didn't, suck it up, learn a lesson and adjust for the next time. And finally, and I think you'll all agree with me on this one, people who eat whatever they want, who never exercise, and yet they never gain any weight, should be exiled from the planet. They are provocative and I hate them because I'm jealous of them. <laughs>